Hello members, this is Dan Lloyd, Director of Agronomy with the Country Club of St. Albans uh, with your weekly update. Today we're going to talk about bunkers, uh, which is a great topic. I hear a lot about bunkers. Uh, probably the most the comments I get the most are about the bunkers. Uh, this topic was suggested by a member and I love that. Uh, so if anybody has any other suggestions, uh, put them in the comment box or send me an email. Um, so the comments I get about bunkers is one, uh, there's not enough sand um, or they're too firm or they're too soft. Um, so the not enough sand comment is often true. Uh, we were waiting on sand for a little while. We get it from California. It takes a while to get here. Uh, it's expensive, uh, but, but it's important to, to match with what we have. And it plays great when it's good. So, um, so we did get a fresh shipment and we'll be adding to some of these bunkers um, as needed. Uh, sometimes they just feel like you're hitting the bottom because they're firm. And that's kind of a different issue. Like right now, everything is firm. We got an inch of rain last night uh, and it takes a little while to dry out from that. Um, so, so the moisture content is one of the variables. Uh, contamination is another variable. Uh, some of the bunkers that just get silt washed in time after time, they react a little different, they play a little different. And then what kind of rake we use is another one. So this is a big bunker. It's really easy to get in and out with the machine rake. And we like the product we get from this. Uh, the smaller bunkers uh, that we hand rake every day, over time those can get firm. So we're playing around with some different rakes and some different styles of doing things to try to try to increase consistency. Uh, bunkers by nature are a little inconsistent. You know, one might be in the sun, one might be in the shade, and they might play totally different. One might get irrigation, one might not. So, I mean, part of that is why we try not to hit in the bunkers. But uh, that being said, we're gonna do everything we can to make them as consistent as possible. And, and they are a lot of labor. We spend uh, the second most amount of money on bunkers, second only to greens, uh, just the amount of labor that we put into it. So it's certainly not something we're neglecting. Uh, we're, we're trying to do our best. Um, and we're, we're trying out some new things that I think will make an impact. Uh, it's, you know, it's sort of fortuitous today, um, or not, but we got rain last night and the bunkers washed out pretty good. So um, while we're talking about bunkers, I thought I'd take you through the process of fixing bunker washouts. As I mentioned yesterday, we got an inch of rain and it came down pretty hard and fast. So that was enough to wash out the bunkers. So I thought we'd take this opportunity to just kind of look at the process of putting these things back together. So yeah, when the, when the water comes hard, it moves the sand from the edges and you know, we have a lot of steep flash faces and it just washes down in the middle. Uh, so step one is we blow out all the debris in the bunkers. And this is honestly something we're doing almost every day now that the leaves have been falling because uh, we don't want to rake those leaves in. It'll discolor the sand. Uh, and then step two is, is pushing the sand back where it came from. Uh, it's a laborious process. Um, and there's, there's no way around it, but honestly, I think we're all just glad to have a little rain. So, um, so we're pushing up the sand up, um, you know, hiding the liner. Um, and then once we get it up there, we, we pack it down a little bit. Um, so we'll use the smooth side of the rake and just kind of tamp it down and then smooth that out. So uh, we do that so that the edges of the bunkers remain firm. So if your ball lands there, it doesn't get stuck, you know, fried egg lie, which is no fun. So uh, there is no way around it though. If, if uh, like if a ball were to land there today, we would definitely, it would probably still get stuck. It's gonna be a little soft uh, until it can harden up over time. Uh, the, other, the other problem with the bunker washing is silt can get in there and contaminate the sand. Um, so we have to scrape out that silt, otherwise the bunker will Will react different in how it drains and how it plays and the color so uh, pretty much every big rain we're out there scraping silt and then hauling that away um, so we've got this down unfortunately when it uh, when it rains enough to wash out bunkers it's also too wet to drive close to them uh, with any kind of equipment so so we have to physically walk all the sand back uh, dump it in one of our vehicles and dispose of it so uh, we lose some sand this way, but uh, it's important to get these contaminants out. And anybody that's been around uh, St. Albans for a while, like previous to the new bunker project, and I think it was like 2015, um, it used to be so much worse. Uh, so these the liners are working, and there's just always going to be some silt that gets in there. Um, so much better than it used to be. Uh, and then the the final is the final step is just rake them smooth, um, and they're still wet. Uh, so we're you know, raking them more than we would, try to fluff up the surface a little bit. We're just gonna keep spinning them with the machine rakes and rake them um, extra times with the hand rakes and try to try to get them soft again on top. But uh, that's one of those things we were talking about with bunkers is 
uh, one of the one of the variables that leads to inconsistency is you know, rain is one of them. So, uh, so certain bunkers still haven't drained. Uh, we still have some puddles out there. Those are on a list to you know we'll check the drainage out this winter, flush some drain tiles, and make sure they're uh, operating as they should. Uh, so there's still a couple bunkers out there today that haven't been finished because they have standing water. All right. Well, um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, hope you're enjoying your golf courses.